Hey guys, this is Pavel for MeasureSchool.com and today we are going to talk about UTM parameters. If you've ever been thinking if it's possible to tag and then followingly recognize a specific traffic you're sending to Google Analytics, then using UTM parameters will take place. UTM parameters are small text strings which we can append to final URL address and then if it's used properly, Google Analytics tracking code can easily recognize it and then we'll see the data in GA reports. Uh, we will show in uh, which GA dimensions we can see the data from UTM parameters and then we will show how to properly create and test the final URL address including UTM parameters. So let's go to acquisition report, all traffic and source medium. As said before, uh, UTM parameters are used for tagging a traffic. So I guess it's uh, not a surprise for you that all of the traffic dimensions we have in Google Analytics can be filled in from the data from UTM parameters. So here are the two most common of them, source and medium. Then there's a keyword which has a different name in UTM tagging, it's called UTM term. And then there are two more, which is campaign, and then there's ad content. So let's have a look on the most two common one, source and medium. What are typical values we should put into a source parameter? Mostly it's the domain or the search engine from which the traffic is coming. So mostly it's Google or partners or any domain or search engine from which we're sending the traffic to our domain. Then the medium is the way or the form of the ad or the proposition that was shown to a user. So mostly it's a CPC or email or affiliate or in general the way the ad or the proposition was shown. Then there is a third UTM parameter which is in GA naming called keyword and as we said in UTM naming it's UTM term, sorry. So by clicking here you can see that there are keywords. Uh, it's mostly used for then keywords analysis, so it's always good to keep in mind that we only should put a keyword in that UTM term parameter. Nothing else, uh, otherwise we'll see the wrong data in the wrong report. It won't be easy to analyze it. Then there is a fourth parameter called UTM campaign, which we can either use by secondary dimension searching for a campaign, or there is specific report for all the campaigns we have in GA. It's clicking here on all campaigns. And, and I guess this one is pretty straightforward. In ideal way, it should be the name of the campaign. So for example, spring sale or something like this. So this is UTM parameter called campaign. And then there is a last one, which is called UTM content. And let's have a look here by searching for add content. It's this one. And this, this UTM parameter is mainly used for seeing various, for example, A-B test variants we are trying. We can see here that in this case for the ad content, the Google Merchandise Store is using the dimensions of the banner. It can be, for example, blue versus red versus yellow banner or any parameter you want to use for differentiating between various campaigns. For example, it can be also different naming for different copy we're using for text ads. So pretty much anything you want to put there can be in ad content. So these were the five UTM parameters and now how to create the final URL address. The easiest way is to use Campaign URL Builder, which is a nice web application which creates the final URL address for us. So all we need to know is the website URL to which we, we want to send the traffic and then use reasonable naming for uh, all UTM parameters we want to use. I highly recommend to always use at least three of them, which is source, medium, and then campaign. It's entirely up to you whether it makes sense to use um, campaign term, which should all, only be used for keywords, as we said, or if you are trying to test something and you also want to use a campaign content. So how to use it? As we are in the Google Merchandise Store, Google Analytics account, I'm also going to that website and what I'm doing right now is that I'm copying the URL address, I'm pasting it here and then I want to create a specific campaign source. So in this case it would be measureschool.com, campaign medium will be video and campaign name would be Pavel video recording.
So here it is and if I only will scroll down a bit I can see the final URL address. As you can see it's main domain name which is googlemerchandisestore.com and then utm source equals measureschool.com ampersound and so on and so forth. So you can see it's quite long and it's always good to use some of the tools available online for generating the final URL address. So all I have to do right now is to copy that URL address and then paste it here. It's always good to test it before you start running it or, or start using those specific UTM parameters for one reason. Sometimes it happens that you have a specific setup on your server which can cut off the UTM parameters. So the way how to test it is to paste it to address bar and then waiting until the website is fully loaded and UTM parameter should persist there. It shouldn't be removed. Then the second good way or basically number two way what you always have to do once testing UTM parameters is going to Google Analytics real-time report clicking to traffic sources and as you can see I was using this UTM parameters where I used campaign source measureschool.com and campaign medium video and as you can see I already can see myself as a one user with that specific UTM parameters and then just to confirm that I will filter it in real-time reporting and by clicking for example to location I'm based in Prague Czech Republic and this is exactly what Google was able to recognize. So that was it guys. That was the lesson about how to use UTM parameters properly and how to create a final URL address. So hope you enjoyed it guys and see you next time. Thanks Pavel for this great explanation. If you found this video helpful, then give us a thumbs up. And if you are interested in porting over these UTM parameters into a form so your CRM would also see these UTMs, then I recommend to watch this video right here where I show you how to do just that with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now, my name is Julian from everybody here at Measure School. Happy measuring.